Marshal Georgi Sukhov occupies a paramount position in Soviet military history, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of warfare. His significance can be understood through various dimensions. World War II Heroics Zukov's leadership during World War II, especially in the Eastern Front, was instrumental in the Soviet Union's victory over Nazi Germany. His strategic brilliance, unwavering resolve, and ability to inspire his troops turned the tide of the war and prevented the Nazis from capturing Moscow. His pivotal roles in the defense of Leningrad, the Battle of Stalingrad, and the monumental Operation Bagration demonstrated his exceptional military acumen, an unwavering commitment to the Soviet cause. Renowned Military Strategist Zukov's military strategies and tactics are still studied and admired by military historians worldwide. His innovative approaches to warfare, such as deep operations and the use of combined arms tactics, set new standards for military planning and execution. He was a master of adapting to the rapidly changing battlefield and making critical decisions under immense pressure, which earned him the reputation of being a military genius. Political influence Zukov's position within the Soviet hierarchy allowed him to exert influence on not only the military but also political decisions. His insights were often sought by Soviet leaders, and his presence at key conferences, like the Yalta Conference, shaped the post-World War II world order. Rehabilitation and Legacy Despite facing political purges and demotions during his career, Zukov's rehabilitation under Leonid Brezhnev cemented his legacy. His return to prominence marked the acknowledgement of his unparalleled contributions to the Soviet Union's survival and victory in World War II. His legacy extends beyond the Soviet Union, with his military doctrines and tactics continuing to influence modern warfare and military thinking worldwide. See Purpose of the Story to explore Zukov's life, career, and contributions. The purpose of this story is to delve deep into the life, career, and remarkable contributions of Marshal Georgi Zukov, shedding light on the enigmatic figure who played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history. Through this exploration, we aim to illuminate Zukov's background by tracing his early life, upbringing, and early military experiences, we seek to provide a comprehensive understanding of the man behind the military legend. Chronicle his rise through the ranks, Zukov's journey from a humble background to becoming the chief of the general staff and a marshal of the Soviet Union, is a testament to his exceptional abilities and leadership. We aim to capture the pivotal moments in his ascent, analyze his role in World War II, the story will meticulously examine Zukov's actions and strategies during World War II, unraveling the complexities of his leadership and the impact of his decisions on the battlefield. Explore the intricacies of his personal and professional life, Zukov's interactions with political leaders, fellow commanders, and his family life will be scrutinized to provide a more comprehensive picture of the man behind the uniform. Evaluate his enduring legacy by assessing his contributions to military doctrine and strategy, his impact on the Soviet Union and the world stage, and the lessons modern militaries continue to draw from his experiences. We aim to underscore Sukhov's lasting influence on military affairs. In sum, this story aims to pay homage to a legendary figure who rose from obscurity to become one of the most celebrated military commanders in history, whose life and legacy continue to captivate the imagination of historians, military enthusiasts, and readers worldwide. 2. Early Life and Background Aid Birth and Childhood in Kaluga, Russia Born on December 1, 1896, in the picturesque town of Kaluga, Georgi Konstantinovich Zukov entered the world during a tumultuous period in Russian history. His birthplace, Kaluga, situated southwest of Moscow, was a quaint town known for its serene landscapes and rich cultural heritage. 
Zukov's early years were marked by the humble circumstances of his family. He was the son of a poor shoemaker, and life in a small Russian town provided him with a modest upbringing. Despite the financial challenges, young Georgie displayed an insatiable curiosity and an early fascination with military matters. The rural surroundings of Kaluga instilled in Zukov a deep connection to the Russian countryside, which would later play a role in his military strategies, particularly during the brutal winters of World War II. Be the military upbringing and education. As Zukov matured, his interest in the military deepened. In 1915, he entered the Moscow Infantry School, where he began his formal military education. This marked the start of his journey towards becoming one of the most renowned military commanders in history. His education and training at the Moscow Infantry School instilled discipline, leadership qualities, and a thorough understanding of military tactics. It was here that he began honing the skills that would serve him well throughout his military career. See Early Career in the Red Army Zukov's early career in the Red Army was marked by his involvement in the Russian Civil War, 1917-1923, a period of great upheaval in the newly formed Soviet Union. He swiftly rose through the ranks due to his strategic thinking, fearlessness in battle, and unwavering loyalty to the Bolshevik cause. During the Civil War, Zukov demonstrated his exceptional leadership abilities, often leading troops in daring maneuvers against white army forces and counter-revolutionaries. His remarkable performance on the battlefield caught the attention of his superiors, setting the stage for his meteoric rise within the Red Army. These early experiences in the Russian Civil War would shape Zukov's military mindset and prepare him for the even greater challenges that lay ahead in World War II. They also laid the foundation for the legendary career that would cement his status as one of the Soviet Union's most celebrated military commanders. 3. Rising Through the Ranks A. Zukov's Role in the Russian Civil War The Russian Civil War B. Demonstrating leadership skills and strategic brilliance. Zukov's rapid ascent in the Red Army was driven by his exceptional leadership skills and strategic brilliance. Time and again, he demonstrated an uncanny ability to adapt to the fluid and ever-changing battlefield conditions of the Russian Civil War. His leadership style was marked by a combination of audacity, calculated risk-taking, and an unwavering commitment to the cause of the Bolsheviks. Zukov's military successes during this period were characterized by innovative tactics, such as the use of mobile armored trains and his adept utilization of combined arms forces. His ability to coordinate infantry, artillery, and cavalry units in complex maneuvers was a testament to his tactical ingenuity. Seed recognition by Soviet leadership as Zukov's star continued to rise on the battlefield, his remarkable contributions did not go unnoticed by Soviet leadership. Recognizing his extraordinary talent and dedication, he began to receive commendations and promotions. His leadership qualities and strategic insight earned him the respect and admiration of his superiors, including Leon Trotsky and Joseph Stalin. Zukov's recognition culminated in his appointment as the Chief of Staff of the Red Army in 1940, just prior to the outbreak of World War II. This appointment would set the stage for his pivotal role in the most significant conflict of the 20th century, where his leadership and strategic brilliance would be instrumental in the defense of the Soviet Union and the ultimate defeat of Nazi Germany. In the crucible of the Russian Civil War, Marshal Georgi Sukov honed his skills, gained the recognition of Soviet leadership, and laid the groundwork for his legendary military career. His rise through the ranks would soon see him become a key figure in the annals of Soviet and world military history. Vid World War II 
A. The Zukov's pivotal role in the Eastern Front. Defense of Leningrad. As World War II erupted, Marshal Georgi Zukov was entrusted with the critical task of defending Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, from the relentless onslaught of Nazi forces. His leadership during the 872-day siege, 1941-1944, was nothing short of heroic. Zukov's tenacity and strategic brilliance sustained the city's resistance, preventing its capture by the German army. Zukov orchestrated a complex network of defenses, organized supply routes across the frozen Lake Ladoga, and relentlessly coordinated counterattacks. His unwavering commitment and resolute leadership provided a glimmer of hope in the darkest days of the siege. Battle of Stalingrad Zukov's name is forever linked to the Battle of Stalingrad, 1942-1943, one of the most decisive conflicts of World War II. As the supreme commander of the Stalingrad Front, his leadership played a pivotal role in the Soviet victory that halted the German advance. His strategic insight and ability to coordinate large-scale offensives allowed the Red Army to encircle and ultimately defeat the German Sixth Army. The battle marked a turning point in the war, shifting the momentum in favor of the Allies. Operation Bagration and the Liberation of Belarus Operation Bagration, launched in June 1944, was Zukov's masterstroke. As the commander of the First Belarusian Front, he devised an intricate plan to liberate Belarus from German occupation. This operation, one of the largest of the war, demonstrated Zukov's strategic brilliance once again. The Red Army's swift and overwhelming offensive shattered German defenses, resulting in the liberation of Belarus and the opening of a vital strategic corridor into Eastern Europe. Operation Bagration significantly weakened the German Eastern Front and paved the way for the Soviet advance into Central Europe. B. Leadership Style and Strategies Zukov's leadership style during World War II was characterized by several key attributes. Decisiveness, Zukov was known for making quick and bold decisions on the battlefield. His ability to act swiftly and decisively often caught his adversaries off guard. Aggressiveness, he was unafraid to take risks and launch audacious offensives. This aggressive approach paid off in major battles like Stalingrad and Operation Bagration. Attention to detail, Zukov meticulously planned his operations, considering every aspect, from troop deployments to logistics and intelligence. Adaptability, he possessed the capacity to adapt to rapidly changing circumstances and adjust his strategies accordingly, a skill that proved invaluable in the fluidity of war. See Collaborations with Allied Forces Zukov's collaborations with Allied forces, particularly with the United States and the United Kingdom, were essential in achieving victory in World War II. He attended key Allied conferences, including the Yalta Conference, where the leaders of the Allied powers discussed the post-war order. Zukov's cooperation with Allied commanders, such as Dwight D. Eisenhower and Bernard Montgomery, ensured effective coordination of military operations. His ability to work alongside Western allies helped foster unity and shared objectives among the allies, ultimately contributing to the defeat of Nazi Germany. Marshal Georgi Zukov's pivotal role in the Eastern Front, his remarkable leadership style, and his collaborations with Allied forces made him a central figure in the Soviet war effort during World War II. His achievements on the battlefield solidified his reputation as a legendary military commander and a key contributor to the Allied victory in the war. V. Post-World War II Era 8. Zukov's Contributions to the Allied Victory and the Yalta Conference After the conclusion of World War II, Marshal Georgi Zukov's contributions to the Allied victory were widely acknowledged. 
His strategic brilliance and relentless leadership had played a pivotal role in the defeat of Nazi Germany. His reputation as one of the greatest military commanders of the 20th century was cemented, and his expertise was sought by the highest levels of the Allied leadership. One of the most significant events in which the Red Army's occupation of Eastern European countries, including East Germany, Poland, and Czechoslovakia, solidified Soviet control over these nations. Zukov was instrumental in ensuring the smooth implementation of Soviet policies in these territories, which contributed to the spread of communism in Eastern Europe. However, as Cold War tensions escalated, the presence of the Red Army in Eastern Europe also led to increased mistrust and suspicion between the Soviet Union and the Western powers, particularly the United States. This period marked a shift in Zukov's career, as he became more involved in political and diplomatic matters as a military leader. See Zukov's position in the Soviet hierarchy. Zukov's position in the Soviet hierarchy evolved throughout the post-World War II era. Despite his enormous contributions to the Allied victory and his elevated status within the military, he found himself caught in the power struggles within the Soviet leadership. In the immediate post-war years, Zukov held key positions in the Soviet military establishment, including being the Deputy Minister of Defense. However, his growing influence and popularity made him a perceived threat to Soviet leaders, especially Joseph Stalin. In 1946, Zukov was abruptly removed from his position and sent to lead the Odessa military district, a move seen as a demotion. This marked a period of relative obscurity for the renowned commander, as he was sidelined from top military and political circles. Despite these setbacks, Zukov's fortunes would change in the years to come, as he experienced a resurgence in the late 1950s under the leadership of Nikita Khrushchev, ultimately reclaiming his status as a prominent figure in Soviet military and political circles. His position in the Soviet hierarchy would once again reflect his enduring importance to the Soviet Union and its leadership. 6. Internal Struggles and Demotion A. The Zukov's clashes with Joseph Stalin and Nikita Khrushchev Marshal Georgi Zukov's illustrious military career was not without its share of internal struggles and political clashes. While his leadership and strategic brilliance had earned him admiration on the battlefield, they often put him at odds with the political leadership of the Soviet Union. His first major clash came during the post-World War II era with Joseph Stalin. Despite their collaboration during the war, Zukov's growing popularity and influence became a source of concern for Stalin. The dictator perceived Zukov as a potential rival and, in a bid to undermine him, criticized his methods and questioned his loyalty. Tensions reached a peak when Zukov's proposal to reduce the size of the Red Army after the war was met with opposition from Stalin. The conflict culminated in Zukov's abrupt removal from key military positions, a move seen as a clear message from Stalin. After Stalin's death in 1953, the new Soviet leader, Nikita Khrushchev, initiated a process of de-Stalinization. Zukov, who had been sidelined under Stalin, saw a brief resurgence in his career. However, his frankness and outspoken nature once again led to clashes with the leadership. He openly criticized Khrushchev's policies and was eventually sidelined again, marking the end of his official career in the military. b. His removal from key positions in the Soviet military Zukov's clashes with Soviet leadership had serious consequences for his career. His removal from key positions within the Soviet military marked a significant turning point. In 1946, he was removed from his post as Deputy Minister of Defense, effectively sidelining him from the highest echelons of military command. 
the move was seen as an attempt to curtail Zhukov's influence and diminish his standing within the Soviet military establishment. Despite his past achievements and the respect he commanded among his peers and subordinates, Zhukov was suddenly relegated to a position in the Odessa military district, far from the centers of power. See Period of Obscurity and Exile For Marshal Zhukov, the post-World War II era was a period of obscurity and exile. Removed from key military positions and ostracized by the political leadership, he found himself far from the limelight he had once occupied. It was a stark contrast to his wartime prominence and the adulation he had received as a war hero. During this period, Zhukov lived a relatively quiet life, away from the corridors of power in Moscow. He did not hold any significant positions and was largely out of the public eye. His contributions to the Soviet Union's victory in World War II seemed to have been overshadowed by political maneuvering and infighting. However, this period of obscurity would not be the final chapter in Zhukov's storied career. In the years to come, he would experience a resurgence in his status and influence, as political winds in the Soviet Union shifted once again. Zhukov's remarkable life story would continue to unfold, and his legacy would ultimately be restored in the eyes of the Soviet leadership and the world. 7. Rehabilitation and Legacy 8. Return to Prominence under Leonid Brezhnev Marshal Georgi Zhukov's journey through the tumultuous waters of Soviet politics took an unexpected turn during the leadership of Leonid Brezhnev. After years of obscurity and political exile, Zhukov experienced a remarkable resurgence in his career and status. With the changing political landscape and the onset of the Brezhnev era in the mid-20th century, the Soviet leadership sought to rehabilitate Zhukov. Recognizing his invaluable contributions to the Soviet Union's victory in World War II and the need for his military expertise, Zhukov was once again given key positions within the Soviet military establishment. In 1955, Zhukov was appointed as the Minister of Defense of the Soviet Union, a role that allowed him to exert significant influence over the country's armed forces. His return to a position of prominence was a testament to his enduring legacy and his indispensability in ensuring the security of the Soviet Union during the Cold War. B. A legacy as a military strategist and leader Marshal Georgi Zhukov's legacy as a military strategist and leader is etched in the annals of military history. His contributions to the Soviet Union's success in World War II and his impact on modern military thinking continue to be celebrated to this day. World War II Triumphs Zhukov's masterful planning and execution in pivotal battles, such as Stalingrad and Operation Bagration showcased his strategic brilliance. His ability to adapt to rapidly changing battlefield conditions and his meticulous planning were instrumental in the Red Army's victories. Leadership style, Zhukov's leadership was marked by a combination Legacy in academia, Zhukov's experiences and writings have become essential references in military academies worldwide. His memoirs, Memoirs of Marshal Zhukov, provide invaluable insights into his strategies, leadership style, and the challenges he faced during World War II. Marshal Georgi Zhukov's legacy as a military commander, strategist, and leader continues to inspire military professionals and historians alike. His contributions to the defense of the Soviet Union and the Allied victory in World War II have secured his place as a legendary figure in the annals of military history, and his enduring impact on modern military thinking ensures that his legacy will continue to be studied and celebrated for generations to come. 8. Personal Life and Reflections 8. Zhukov's Family and Personal Relationships Behind the legendary military commander, there existed a more personal and intimate side to Marshal Georgi Zhukov. 
understanding his family and personal relationships offers a glimpse into the man behind the uniform. Zuko's family life was marked by its simplicity and devotion. He married Alexandra Dievna Zuikova, a schoolteacher, in 1916, and their union endured the tumultuous years of World War I, the Russian Revolution, and the subsequent Civil War. Despite Zuko's demanding military career, his wife Alexandra remained a steadfast source of support throughout his life. The couple had two children, Margarita and Yuri. Zuko's dedication to his family was evident in the personal letters he exchanged with his wife during his military service. These letters, filled with warmth and affection, offered a glimpse into his softer side and the deep love he had for his family. B. His thoughts on war, leadership, and diplomacy. Zuko's thoughts on war, leadership, and diplomacy were shaped by his experiences on the battlefield and in high-stakes diplomatic negotiations. He was known for his candid and direct approach to military matters and international relations. War Zuko viewed war as a last resort, a necessary evil to protect the homeland. He understood the devastating human cost of conflict and always sought ways to achieve victory with minimal casualties. Leadership, he emphasized the importance of strong leadership, believing that a commander must lead by example and inspire confidence in their troops. His own leadership style, marked by decisiveness and a commitment to victory, reflected these beliefs. Diplomacy, Zukov recognized the crucial role of diplomacy in achieving lasting peace. His participation in the Yalta Conference and other diplomatic endeavors highlighted his commitment to finding diplomatic solutions to international conflicts. See the personal anecdotes and stories from comrades. The camaraderie and personal anecdotes from Zuko's comrades provide valuable insights into his character and leadership style. One such anecdote is his legendary response to British Prime Minister Winston Churchill during a heated discussion about post-war Europe. When Churchill suggested that they should liquidate the German general staff, Zuko famously retorted, We, too, have a general staff, and we are not going to liquidate it. This exchange illustrated Zuko's firm stance on protecting the interests of the Soviet Union and the Red Army. Another story reveals his deep empathy for his soldiers. During the Battle of Stalingrad, he visited wounded soldiers in the field hospitals, providing them with words of encouragement and support. His personal connection with his troops earned him their unwavering loyalty. In conclusion, Marshal Georgi Zukov's personal life, reflections on war, leadership, and diplomacy, as well as the anecdotes and stories from his comrades, add depth to his character and provide a more complete picture of the legendary military commander. His personal qualities, experiences, and beliefs offer valuable insights into the man who played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history during one of the most tumultuous periods of the 20th century. 9. Conclusion a. Summarizing Zukov's Life and Achievements Marshal Georgi Zukov's life and achievements constitute a remarkable chapter in the annals of military history. Born in humble circumstances in Kaluga, Russia, he rose to become one of the most legendary military commanders of the 20th century. His journey through the Russian Civil War, World War II, and the tumultuous politics of the Soviet Union shaped his extraordinary career. Zukov's pivotal role in World War II, including the defense of Leningrad, the Battle of Stalingrad, and Operation Bag Ration, showcased his strategic brilliance and unwavering commitment to victory. His rehabilitation in the post-war era under Leonid Brezhnev highlighted his indomitable spirit and enduring significance. B. Reflecting on the enduring legacy of Marshal Georgi Zukov. Marshal Zukov's legacy endures not only within the pages of history but also in the lessons he left behind for future generations. His contributions to modern military thinking, innovative strategies, 
and the art of leadership continue to inspire military professionals worldwide. His legacy also extends to his impact on diplomatic endeavors, as exemplified by his participation in the Yalta Conference and his pursuit of diplomatic solutions to international conflicts. Furthermore, Zukov's emphasis on adaptability, the importance of strong leadership, and the empathy he showed towards his soldiers serve as enduring examples for leaders in all walks of life. See final thoughts on the impact of his contributions to Soviet and world history. Marshal Georgi Zukov's contributions reverberate through the corridors of Soviet and world history. His instrumental role in the Soviet Union survival during World War II and the defeat of Nazi Germany earned him a place of honor in his homeland and the admiration of allies and adversaries alike. Zukov's life and career serve as a testament to the indomitable human spirit, the pursuit of excellence, and the capacity for resilience in the face of adversity. His enduring legacy, as a military commander, strategist, and diplomat, continues to shape the world of warfare and international relations. In a world marked by turmoil and conflict, the lessons of Marshal Georgi Zukov's life remind us of the enduring power of leadership, determination, and the pursuit of peace. His legacy is a beacon of inspiration for all who seek to make a lasting impact on history, and his memory lives on as a symbol of unwavering commitment to the cause of freedom and the defense of one's homeland.